All right, let's talk a few minutes about this enforcement fund. Remember I told you that they have the right to come in and inspect your records, all right? They have a person that would actually do that. Now, whoever that is, there's going to be a cost for that person, and that cost has got to come from somewhere, and it comes from this enforcement fund, all right? If they need to hire private detectives, if they need to hire professional witnesses, or whatever reason that there has to be some kind of hearing or enforcement, they are going to draw money out of this enforcement fund. So the Title and Insurance Enforcement Fund is established for the following reason. It's to provide supplemental funding for the DOI uh, as related to the title insurance including investigations concerning any of the title transactions that happen or pursuing administrative and civil actions to address any of the non-compliance once again so if they have to come out and investigate you there's a person that does that and they may hire other people this title enforcement fund is there to help them pay into that uh, provide some supplemental uh, money for, for doing that. Um, it's cooperating with the federal and state laws to make sure that each uh, company doesn't do deceptive acts, any criminal activities, if they violate RESPA, uh, actions to enjoin violations, meaning if you can enjoin another violation. Uh, they pay the cost of hiring and the employees and the staff to enforce this those those people i was telling you about and it provides funding for educational materials as well designed to provide information about consumers about title insurance so if you've ever seen any of those pamphlets you know what is title that goes out to a consumer those are going to come from the same enforcement agency um it's like a proactive enforcement so that you know it's just any of those uh pamphlets that any agency wants to give away so this enforcement fund comes from or is funded by uh the administrator uh the, it's administered by the commissioner of the doi and the expenses of the fund are paid uh, for money in the fund all right money at the end of the year does not get reverted to the state general fund so they don't sweep any money they've collected into another fund. They let it stay there. And they are deposited and controlled by the auditor of the state or the treasurer of the state, rather. Uh, they are deposited in the fund uh, by insurers, insurers, by companies, and other amounts remitted by the commission as required by law. So they have a separate fund that they put money into. Okay, now there's also each person that buys title insurance, and you'll see this show up as a TIF fee. Um, it's very nominal, it's five bucks, but think about this. Each person, so the buyer and the seller pays it, on every real estate transaction or every mortgage transaction that a title company is into. All right, of this fee, they retain $2 for the administrative, and the department gets $3 of the fee that goes into the enforcement fund. So 40% of the money is earmarked for administration of the fund, while the other 60% or $3 go, actually goes into the fund itself. Now, I kind of like the idea that they tell you this, and what you can equate this to is if you've ever donated money to, say, the Red Cross, we all know we think, oh, I donated a dollar, a dollar went to the Red Cross. Well, that's not quite true because there's some administrative fees of the Red Cross. Yeah, question? The, the question was, who runs the, uh, who are the people? Uh, they come from the Department of Insurance. They hire investigators or they hire uh, within, they've got an internal, it's an internal thing, all right? Uh, I don't know. I've never seen them hire private detectives. I've seen the real estate commission hire a private detective. Never seen uh, the DOI do. Now, not been involved in any of the DOI because I grew up incorrect. 
<laughs> it's not funny, man. All right. So, but the point I was getting at is there's some administrative costs that come into this. So the five dollars that gets collected, forty goes to administration. Three dollars actually go into the fund. All right. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about the closing agent. The closing agent is a person that is involved in the transaction that is in going to be the one that actually closes the deal. They are required to be a licensed insurance provider under this chapter. That's kind of what you guys are wanting to do. The term does not apply to a lender or an employee of a lender that conducts a settlement or closing of a real estate secured loan by the lender in the office of the lender, right? So if it's a fifth third loan and they close your mortgage inside of the fifth third, uh, they typically do not call them a closing agent, all right? This deals mainly with uh, what you guys are going to do. You're going to go out and either be title reps. How many are going to sell title? A few of you. How many are actually going to go into closing? All right. You, that would include you guys, closing agent, closing officer, the closer, um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, if you're going to get into mobile closing, you would be the closing agent. All right. So that's who we're uh, talking about when we talk about the closing agent. Okay. Okay.